All right, so we knew it was coming, but today is a sweet, sweet day for North American Counter-Strike. The esteemed young stew of House 2000, pusher and defier of smokes, is about to start living evil. And he's bringing a few friends. Rush is back from his break. Tim is back from Valorant. It's a full-blown Cloud9 reunion. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the boys to bring home another major. Okay, so livers and lovers of Counter-Strike, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. I have been wearing this exact Evil Geniuses shirt since 2014, and even though, like the Caddos, it actually has aged really well, I do kind of need a new one. So click on things that give us ad revenue. Thanks. Okay, so look, you knew it was coming, I knew it was coming, but it's official. Stewie2k, after just over three years on Team Liquid, has officially joined the ranks of Evil Genius's CSGO roster. We can't wait to show what we can do and reveal our true potential. Well, it's pulled everyone away from Stewie. He's the only one here. First shot is his, second shot is his, bomb is his as well, and he's got another one! Stewie just tears them all down! It's Stewie! Live evil. So why is this a big deal? Well, for starters, because it's the smoke criminal. Stu is undeniably, I'd say, the NA GOAT. So whenever he switches rosters, it's always going to attract eyes. But more importantly, because now North America can finally be said to have two tier one Counter-Strike rosters. You see, since COVID drove everything online, I'm not gonna say EG's been like bad, bad, but with complexity going downhill and the failure of Cloud9's so-called Colossus roster, it, it's, it's pretty much been liquid or bust when it comes to North American representation at world-class events. Now, to be clear, I am not eschewing the efforts of burgeoning rosters like Extra Salt, Party Astronauts, Bad News Bears. They've made massive strides over the course of the online era. I'm just saying that like when it comes to tier one international events, Liquid has pretty much stood alone. And even then they've stood somewhat shakily. The point is that now we have two big blockbuster North American lineups. So let's talk about them. Liquid, I've already kind of shed my thoughts on in the last Onatomy. I think that with Shox's veteran clutch factor, a true dedicated opera in the form of OC, and Nitro back at the wheel, this could be a banger roster? I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. It's kind of a weird composition, in a good way, I think. As for EG, I think that on paper, this roster is tantalizing to say the least. Who's on the roster? Let's break it down. First, there's Stu. Now there isn't much to say about Stu other than he's Stu, but what I will say is that as superbly dynamic of a competitor as he is, I think that playing on a roster with clearly defined roles, like this one, will really allow him to focus on doing what it is he wants to do, which right now is lead. As for who is inhabiting those roles, let's start with the so-called wrist breaker, Cirque. The doors in the form of Amanek and three on long, not if Cirque completely rips the short presence out from this attack. Now they can boost him up. He's going hunting. What? what? Who did he even kill? Regarded right now as, I would say, the best dedicated opera in North America, this bullish Bulgarian beauty has long been the pride and joy of evil geniuses. This kid is an animal, and in my opinion, one of the most explosive snipers in the game. Next up is EG's other mainstay, Breeze, who, as far as aimers go, I mean, yeah, just roll the Inferno pistol clip. It's absolute chaos here towards middle as I can't find anything, but Gratis Fashion continues to apply pressure. Knife kill coming oh. in. You do love to see that, Semla. What a way to kick things off. Uh, just the explosive action. Does Breezy actually get a plant? Oh no, the Kriegs are coming. The Kriegs are coming. Oh, Ooh, wait, maybe more. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Now for the additions. 
First up is Rush, the entry fragger whose on-point aggression turned out to be a crucial ingredient in the success of Complexity's Juggernaut roster, and whose efforts helped Cloud9 take home the Boston Major back in 2018. Rush is watching the line. Beautiful flick coming out from Rush. They're sticking the defuse right now, but no one's covering him. Imagine has to stick it. Rush, he's gonna peek in. He's gonna get the one on four. Make sure to tune in for upcoming matches and live evil. It looked at first as if Rush would be joining Extra Salt alongside Daps, since EG were reportedly eyeing Valde. But then the Valde deal reportedly fell through, and lo and behold, the boy is back on home soil. I think that Rush is a severely underrated fragger, and I think that he has been for some time. You need selfless, sacrificial entries who are sometimes willing to be fodder for the cause. And Rush has shown time and time again that he is willing to use teamwork to make the dream work. Last, but certainly not least, Tim. Buddy. You're home. The other half of he and Stewie's fabled behold, self-dubbed the Great Wall of China, and the last piece of the Boston Major reunion bundle, well, no, the last piece would have been Tarek, but I guess, you know, he's busy making his millions streaming. Timothy Automatic Ta makes his triumphant return to Counter-Strike after roughly a year-long stint in Valorant. Low HP, not holding them back, but Automatic with a flick shot to keep Genji in this. The bomb once again dropped in no man's land. In spite of the fact that he probably has a little bit of rust to shake off, Tim remains a stellar secondary opera. And in my completely unqualified, unprofessional opinion, when he's firing on all cylinders, one of the best mid-round callers that NACS has ever had. Oh, and let's not forget the coach, Malik. Fresh off his top two finish at the Stockholm Major with G2, Malik is a legend in the French CS scene and one of the most reputed coaches of all time. The hope is that with Stewie IGLing, Malik overseeing everything, and again, such clearly defined roles, something which Liquid went a long time without having, this roster will have synergy and a sense of direction from the get-go. Oh, and as for what else is going on in North American Counter-Strike, it kind of seems like it's back. We've got Daps and Swishers yet to be signed. Orglis lineup, who might become Extra Salt. We've also got Party Astronauts and Bad News Bears still going in full force. And of course, Complexity's newly announced, brand spanking new, organic, locally sourced North American lineup. Formed mostly out of X Extra Salt, but with a healthy splash of Furia slash Bad News Bears and Liquid, Complexity's new lineup boasts almost everything NACS has to offer. Composed of JT, Fang, Floppy, Junior, and Grim, these boys are ready to grind. And f do you love to see it. Don't call it a comeback but uh, it does seem as if NACS is back with a vengeance. Most, if not all of our troops are home, and dare I say, we might be seeing the start of something great. Call it copium, but uh, we might be witnessing the musterings of an actual renaissance. At least I fucking hope we are. If this was situa if this was higher in the script, we could totally, and it wasn't a don't at me with like a fucking one day turnaround, we could totally just like hard cut to a scene from the West Wing, right? With like the Secretary of Defense just like looking solemnly up at, at you know, they'd probably be like, bring her, just bring our boys home. Okay, yeah. And the Valorant logo on like the fucking map, just bring, bring our boys home. Yeah.